everyone welcome to happy unboxing nyc my name is alina and today i want to share you my first tutorial using the bargain bin box for may 2022 i like this topic of this month the may flowers and really the whole box blooming and shining <laughs> and i really i love this month's curation so much so first project you can see right now and if you're ready to create this beauty with me let's get started okay guys if you're ready to bid with me today let's get started for our amazing project we're gonna need following we're gonna need our uh, 10 millimeter uh, beads that we got this month and i use all of them honestly i use 16 for necklace and two for earrings i hope we got the same amount so also we need this beautiful jade and um, i use it 14 for necklace and two for uh, earrings and uh, from bargain bit box i use all the bead cups that we got also i decided to use some uh, desert spacer beads oh i got it um i got it somewhere else in one of my beading boxes so they will just um laying in my stash for a while but today i decided to use them if you don't have them you can use just a cooper tone spacers disc spacers maybe if you have or even without it in, in in my screen right now you can see how it would look without spacers but of course in my opinion spacer will give a little bit more spice to this necklace i would say like that also we're gonna need our flower uh, connector that we got and again i use bale from my stash because in my opinion it looks so perfect together if you don't have it again you can put some spacers or just leave it as it is it still will be pretty necklace okay also i use this toggle clasp that we got and it's so amazing oh my god it's really super duper amazing i used two creams cooper tone two uh, cream covers and two wire protectors and also we need a few jump rings i use five millimeters for necklace and four millimeter for earrings and we need us i need a chain I, I cannot tell you for sure how much depend how long your uh, necklace you want it to be so that's why we will talk about it later also for earrings we need um, i already made one so you can see it. we need again the round part of our toggle class we need our uh eye pins we need two of them for earrings and we need again our beads we need our two two cups for each earrings which will make four and we need four spacers if you have them if you don't have it just skip this part and we need two uh, um, ear uh, hooks and also as i said i use a teeny tiny jump ring to connect the earring together we also for our project gonna need all our uh, instruments we need our uh, cream plier we need our regular plier loop plier and cutting pliers and from this month i'm gonna do unboxing of my findings i'm sorry guys i'm a little bit late with everything <laughs> so yeah I, i'll try to i'll try to manage my life somehow together well <laughs> it's not easy also uh we need our beading wire and i use my beetle on sorry look horrible because it's almost over so this is what exactly i used for this uh necklace okay so uh if you're ready to bid with me let's get started i just wanted to mention my candle i hope it doesn't bother you it smells so fantastic it's unbelievable i received it in one of my boxes that i opened in my new youtube channel if you still don't know please check it out it's all in a boxes i'm gonna leave my link down below and it smells so vanilla fantastic it really bring me um right away to the right mood for this project so happy to have it sorry it just was <laughs> a little bit so i start just with the um securing my wire so i put my cream and i put my wire protector making a loop and coming back something like that i guess it's gonna be enough if you feel you need more uh tail definitely go ahead and do it but i don't think it's too heavy and we're gonna just secure our 
cream we're gonna crush it and make sure that our wire sitting firmly not moving okay mine is okay <laughs> so later on we will put a cream cover and we're ready for beading part it's a little bit mess so let's just let me put everything that we don't need right now aside and we will stay only with those things that we need for this uh, beading part of the necklace so okay uh we start with the with the pink bead we put it on the wire we put our spacer again if you don't have a spacers you can use maybe eight millimeter bead if you have in a copper tone or just skip this part and we put another yellow bead and another spacer and we're gonna put our second pink bead so we're supposed to have something like that and now again time for spacer and for yellow bead and I already can hear my little helper, helper that coming to help me. <laughs> okay. And another pink bead is coming up. Okay. Uh, now I just want to stop and to secure my side. She's so obsessed with gummy bears right now. That's why all the time she's just singing something like gummy bear. <laughs> <laughs> all right so what i'm doing i just try to secure my wire make it neat and beautiful and when we reach the third pink bead what we will do right now first we will put one cover one bead cup i'm sorry and now we're gonna continue with our daisy spacer and our uh, yellow jade bead like that okay and we cover our yellow jade bead with the um daisy spacer and now we gonna work with our bead cups why like that because honestly i just i see it's not enough i wish i could like do all with the spacers but we didn't receive enough for this project so i just decided to be a little bit creative at this point and we cover our pink bead so we having something like that and again we put our spacer we put yellow jade and we cover it with the spacer i really like i i was thinking maybe it will be too much when i started to think about the beads but then i realize it's okay it's summertime we can be a little bit colorful <laughs> okay pink bead and again we cover with our cup so how many we have we have five right now we have to reach eight so three more will go and we're gonna put a daisy spacer yellow shade in between And cover it and again I'm gonna put the cup with the pink bead and close it and again we're gonna go over the jade and the spacer in between sorry when I'm too excited, I feel like I'm, <laughs> I, I don't see what I'm doing and come out of the screen. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I'm right. Just double checking. And we take another space, uh, another bead cup, another bead cover. And do the same thing. We're following with the yellow jade. Like 
that. And it's time to put our last pink bead on this side. So, oh my God, what, what, what happened? <laughs> okay. We put cup and we put bead and we close it with another cup. Okay, here I want to stop. So this is this our half of our necklace. And uh, now it's time to put our um, pendant. So, but before we put our pendant, we can put aside our beads and we work a little bit with our pendant. So I really don't want uh, to put anything else. I, I, I want just a flower. So I decided just simply to cut this part. So you need your cutting pl ply pliers and please be careful because it's, don't get injured with this. I just simply cut it. I know it's maybe not perfect, but honestly, I don't care. It's still beautiful and this is what I want because I don't want anything to, to hang. If you want, you definitely can go ahead and put some leaves, put some beads, but um, I'm doing this uh, project for myself, so I see it this way. Okay, and now we just can take our um, uh, jump ring, open it, and connect a uh, jump ring to bale. If you don't have a bale, it's not a big deal. You just put your jump ring and attach it to your project. But if you want to be a little bit fancy, you definitely can put something on it like that. Make sure it's closed. And now we can go on and put this beauty on our necklace like that. So now, basically, we we're going to repeat ourselves. We're going to repeat the same thing symmetrically until we will reach eight uh, pink uh, and seven uh, yellow beads. And I will see you there. All right, guys, I just reached my, uh, my uh, another uh, age of beading part, let's say like that. And now I just want to close my um, project. So again, I'm working with my crimp, with my crimp, with my wire protector and making a loop. I'm just going back like that. Okay, I want to make sure that I'm in the right spot, that my project is not too loose, not too tight. Mine is definitely very loose and I'm going right here. So now I want to put the um, the crimp cover. So before I will close my second loop, my second crimp, what's wrong? <laughs> I'm going to put my, uh, my uh, cover because I want to see exactly how much space it will take in order to to make my necklace not not too tight not too loose if it makes sense so um i'm putting my cover and i'm just closing it with my plier try to make it as round as possible mine is not perfect of course let me just work a little bit on it Okay, and now when I did it, I can understand how much space I need to leave myself for the second uh, side. Yeah, it's gonna be enough. So I'm ready to crash my second crimp. And let me make sure everything is tight enough. Okay, and now I just want to cut my tail and uh, walk, uh, oh, first let me just walk it through some beads. Honestly, it doesn't matter what, how we do it. Just, you know, to protect your work, make it neat, nice. Okay. 
and when this part is done i want to put my second crimp cover like that close it All right, and now a necklace almost ready, I would say. I already pre-cut my uh, chain. I really need a little bit because, as I said, I don't like, no, it's not like I don't like, I like no, long necklaces, but this particular set I don't see really long. So I just decided to go ahead and stop on um, making just four links. And I see that this, uh, jump rings way too long, uh, too big. So I want to connect the uh, beading part and uh, chain with really small ones. Now probably these are too small. Let me take something in the middle. Yeah, this will be neater. And this I will leave for outside part. So I just open my uh, my jump ring. And I want to connect my beading part with my chain, close it. And here I want to put the bigger ones. And where is my toggle clasp? Just attach my toggle clasp. Close it. Okay, and the same thing I'm gonna do from my other side. I'm gonna open my jump ring, connect my chain, close it. And attach the toggle clasp. I hope they will have it for sale because I definitely want to buy more. <laughs> Those are so cute. Okay, the necklace is ready. Look like that. Really very, very beautiful in my opinion. Let me just show you better. So springy, so summery, I would say, <laughs> really nice. And now we're gonna just make earrings. If you don't wear earrings, you can just stop on the necklace part. But if you like earrings, we're gonna make such a bold, long earrings. If you want shorter, you definitely can stay with one bead, either yellow, either pink, up to your taste. Uh, but I really, in the summertime, I like to wear long earrings. So yeah, I'm gonna make this one. So let me just put our beauty aside for, for now. <laughs> and for earrings, as I said, we need two beads. We need two um, bead cups. We need hook. We need a, a round part of toggle class. We need eye pin. We need two spacers. And we need a jump ring. So while all supplies are here, we're gonna put uh, beads. So we open our bead cup, put pink one, Put cup back and now we're gonna do the same thing like we were doing with the necklace we put spacer um, jade and spacer and basically we're done so now we just where is my plier we just have to make a loop okay and we just cut the rest okay my flight somewhere <laughs> okay so make it more neat yeah now i'm ready to attach my whatever we can do upper upper side so we don't need jumping we just open the hook and we put um, our 
or earring hook so even if to use the t uh pin they're gonna be really really pretty but i decided as i said i like i like long earrings in the summer so can go ahead open jump ring attach the toggle clasp and close it It's toggle class like a piece of art in my opinion and that's it our earrings are done so one more time let me show you all the beauty together so everything look like that and again you can adjust the length of your uh, necklace when you're done with the beading part before you close it you can just um, try it on you if you do for yourself and then you will know what length of chain you will need or you just can put extension with the lobster i don't know it's up to you but this is the set that i created from the bargain bit box for may 2022 this is my project number one i definitely will come up with many more others i will not try it on myself today but when we're done with all our project i will make um video when i will try everything including this jewelry is another that i made so i hope it's gonna be interesting if you like this video please give me a thumbs up consider to subscribe to my channel i will see you shortly in my next video stay safe thank you for watching me bye bye